Let's pray. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, welcome everybody. Um, I'm seeing some new faces here. A warm welcome to our service. I'm going to talk about today of the call to discipleship. So not, not the cost, but the call to discipleship. So that was the title there. But just before I get into my message, Jesus has come off the back of fasting and prayers for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. And he is beginning his ministry. He hears that John has been put into prison. So he moves to Galilee. Now, Galilee was a densely populated region with dozens of thriving villages. Through it runs a busy trade route from the north to the south and the east to the west. The people in Galilee are vigorous, enterprising, and open-minded, and ready for change. It is an excellent place for Jesus to start his ministry. He begins by gathering a small group of followers. He calls two sets of brothers. First, Simon Peter and his brother Andrew. And second, James and his brother John to join him as his disciples. As I said earlier, I'm going to talk to you today about the call to discipleship and the sacrifices, the commitment, and the dedication it requires. Being a disciple of Jesus is not an easy task, but it is the most rewarding one. It is a call to be transformed by his love, to be renewed by his grace, and to be strengthened by his spirit. The call to discipleship requires sacrifice. In the context of our Christian journey, sacrifice is often giving up our own desires, our needs to serve others, and to live by the principle of Jesus Christ. <coughs> In Matthew chapter 4, verses 19, Jesus calls his disciples to say, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. This is not just a metaphor, but a call to action. It is a call to put our own desires, our plans, and our ambitions for the sake of Christ and the gospel. The most important and significant sacrifice that a disciple can make is that we are called to be active in our faith and to dedicate a portion of our time to serving others and in participating in the church community. The call to discipleship requires commitment. This means committing our life of faith, obedience and service to others. It means to be committed to Christ, his kingdom, and his mission. It means that you are being dedicated in studying of the Bible, growing in your knowledge and understanding of God's word through daily devotion. A committed disciple is one who prays regularly and seeks God's guidance. A committed disciple seeks to fellowship with other believers and to try to build a meaningful relationship among the Christian community. The call to discipleship requires dedication. What does it mean then to be a dedicated disciple? Well, it means three things. To have focus, determination, and be passionate. Dedication involves focusing on your own Christian journey and being able to tune out of distractions. It requires being able to stay on track and not be easily swayed by others or by outside influence, whether these influences are negative or positive. Dedication involves having a strong sense 
of purpose, determination to see things through to the end. It means to be persistent in prayer, even in the face of challenges and obstacles. Being a dedicated disciple means that you are passionate about the gospel and the kingdom of God, and that you yourself are raising disciples for Christ and his kingdom. It requires being driven by a deep sense of motivation and desire to share the gospel with others. It is a decision to be the light in the darkness, to bring hope to hopeless situations, and to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. Therefore, friends, being a disciple or the call to discipleship <clears throat> is not an easy task. It is not one that should be taken lightly, but it is the most rewarding one. It is a call to take up our cross and follow him. It is a call to be transformed by his love, to be renewed by his grace and strengthened by his spirit. It is a call to be Jesus' hands and feet, to be his voice in our communities and in our families, and to be his light in our broken world. So therefore, friends, as we think about the call to discipleship today, let us be willing to sacrifice ourselves, to commit ourselves, and to, to dedicate ourselves to Christ, pointing people to the cross and the resurrected Christ. Amen. Amen.